اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I am going to use ChatGPT with SPSS in order to better understand correlation analysis. Now let's say I am interested in conducting a correlation analysis. But I do not know what is correlation, how it should be done, how the results should be interpreted. Now before we go on and conduct correlation analysis in SPSS, Let's ask ChatGPT what is correlation analysis in simplest of terms. So we are getting our results and let's see what it is. Correlation analysis is a statistical technique used to measure the degree of association between two variables. Now, if you want to find out whether two variables are related with each other in any way, you are or you need to conduct correlation analysis. Now, what it does is it helps to identify whether two variables are positively, negatively or not related with each other at all. Now, correlation analysis is commonly used in research and data analysis to determine the strength of the relationship between variables and to make predictions based on observed patterns. It can be used to analyze many different types of data including social, economic and scientific data. Now that I know what is correlation analysis, I know when to use it. Now I want to find out whether the data that I have, can I use correlation analysis with it or not. So what data types can the correlation analysis be used with? Okay, something went wrong. So let's copy this again. If this goes wrong, open chat GPT again. Now this is what I do. Let's put it in. So correlation analysis. The variables studied must be numeric. Now in normal terms, the data should be continuous, it can be ordinal, it can be interval or it can be a ratio. So there is a video on the channel on the scales of measurement so you can have a look at that. But these are the data types, the common data types that can be used with correlation analysis. But if your data is nominal, that is just pure categories with no order in them, you should use chi-square test. Now that I know that this is the type of data that I will use for correlation analysis. Now, is this what I have in my data set? Yes. So servant leadership, which is measured using these seven items. Now what I did was I took the mean for all these seven items and created a composite score for each respondent. Now to do so, you can obviously go to transform compute variable, let's say servant leadership here, mean here and just put in SL1, SL2, SL3, so on and so forth up until SL7, just press enter and you will have your new variable. Similarly, you can do for other variables in your study as well. Now, why did I do it? Because I'm interested in servant leadership as a construct, as a whole, and whether it relates with other constructs in the study or not. Now let's say I've got servant leadership and I'm interested in finding its correlation or its relationship with life satisfaction just for two variables for now. So how do I do this? Go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. I'm interested in servant leadership. I'm interested in life satisfaction. Now which correlation coefficient will I use? Will I use Pearson, Kendall Tor or Spearman? Now, in this case, I'm using PSN because the variables are continuous. Now, if I had ordinal data, I would have gone for either Kendall Tor or Spearman. But you can use ChatGPT and ask when to use Kendall Tor. 
when to use spearmint. Now in this case test of significance you can have two tailed or one tailed. Again let's say I ask can ChatGPT when to use candle and let me check the spelling again. Candles tor and spearman correlation. Candle tor and spearman correlation are non parametric measures. That is when your data is not normal. So you can ask ChatGPT what is a non parametric measure of correlation and that are used when the data being analyzed do not meet the assumption of normality or linearity required by parametric correlation methods such as Pearson correlation. Now in this case I'm using Pearson correlation because I assume that my data is normal and it's linear. If it is not then you can use Kendall Tau or Spearman or if your data is ordinal you can use these as well. Now what is two-tailed and one-tailed? Now in this case I, I assume based on my literature study that the relationship will be positive and I'm sure about the direction of relationship. So I will use one tailed. If I'm not sure, I will use two tailed flag significant correlation. So it will show you that these correlation or this particular correlation is significant or not. So show only lower triangle. For now, let's say show diagonal. So you will have results on the diagonal. Just press OK. And here are your results. So in this case, this is the Pearson correlation value. This is the significance value and this is the N value. Now, I do not know how to interpret it, how to report it. So let's ask ChatGPT to do it for us. Now, again, as I've always done a word of caution, do understand what these values, these terms mean. If you do not understand them, you won't be able to defend them. Because at the end of the day, if you're writing a paper or you're doing a thesis, you will have to defend it. If you're writing a paper, you might have to go through certain revisions. So and you will have to discuss these results. So if you do not understand these results and leave it to chat GPT or any AI tool, you won't be able to maybe clear your viva defense or you may not be able to write a good quality research paper. So use these AI tools because obviously, uh, everyone else will be using them as well, but use them intelligently. So let's say I ask chat GPT to help me with interpretation and reporting of results. The value for Pearson correlation is zero point. Let's ask what it is. Five to six. Five two six, and the significance is zero point zero zero one. Is less than with a sample size of two two one. Can you help in reporting the results in APA style? And let's see what it does. So here it is. A Pearson correlation was conducted to examine the relationship between. So what's your variable one? It's servant leadership and variable two life satisfaction in a sample of 221 participants. The correlation between the variable was statistically significant. Yes, this is indicating a moderate positive correlation. Now, there are a number of things that one should understand here. Now the sample size is this, the degrees of freedom is 219 and minus two and the correlation. Now you can ask chat GPT, what is this degrees of freedom in simplest of terms? What is this correlation coefficient? What is the range of this correlation coefficient? What, why do, why is it that it is moderately positive? Ask chat GPT to understand these terms better. Let, let me ask one. What is correlation coefficient and is there a range of this coefficient?
Now it says, yes, it is. It has got a range. And now it will help you understand, okay, this is absolute. This is maybe uh, moderate and this is strong, weak. You can further ask chat GPT, okay, what is a moderate relationship? What is a strong relationship? So you can ask any question and it will give you the answer to develop your understanding of the statistical results. So you can use, let's say, here it is. Copy this, copy this interpretation into the Word document and use it for your results. So let's say, let me open the Word document. Let's say my hypothesis, there is a significant relationship between servant leadership and life satisfaction. Here are my results. Life satisfaction. And here is servant leadership. Now the results are presented in table one. So we will paste the table now. Let's copy it, paste it here. Now this table is not in proper APA style. Although there are videos on the channel on how to format a table in APA style, I'll share the link as well. But for now, let me quickly do it. Right click. Out of it to window. Go to table design. Just simplify it. Okay. And click here. Home. Let's copy this. Put it as note. And now just going to add the borders to the cells so I can remove these cells easily. I do not need this column as well. But I cannot remove it like that. So I need to have a border here as well. Select this column. Do not need a value on top here because it's just a repetition. So this is how you can report your correlation analysis. In APA style, let's remove the borders. No border. Let's go for bottom border, top border, bottom border. Now get these in center. That's it. So this is how you can report your results for correlation analysis. And this is how you can use ChatGPT to better understand your statistical techniques. Thank you very much.